has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Hello guys, my name is Imrick117 and today I am reviewing the Marvel Legends Gameiverse Abomination Wave from the new Avengers game, Miss Marvel here, and she is not looking straight, but she is, she can see you, there we go, but uh, this is my third um, Marvel Legends fig from this wave now. So, yeah, and this is, like, from the actual video game as well. I think I'll do all the video game characters first, then move on to the comic book characters. Oh, and then Abomination last. I know Abomination's from the game, but, you know, I figured do him last because he's a buildable fig. But anyway, we'll move her for a sec and have a look at the box. So, as you can see here, we got Avengers, Miss Marvel, the Gamerverse. Uh, we got the Avengers symbol here, the Abomination, 4 and Plus, Warnings, whoever cares about all that. Then we got a little bit on the back here that you can kind of see. There we go, that's a little bit better. Uh, pretty cool artwork over there. Some little writing there about the character herself. Uh, the rest of the wave down here and the buildable fig that actually comes with it. And she is number two, so she comes with the chest bit. It's kind of funny, like you get her who's here and then the rest is the complete chest bit there, which is split in two, which is pretty cool. But. Yeah, then on the side here, we got uh, some pretty cool artwork of the Avengers team. I really hope they do that Thor. I, I imagine they'll probably do Thor and Black Widow, and then maybe Hulk as a buildable fig. If that's the case, I probably will get that wave. And then on the other side here with the same artwork, um, and then on the bottom barcode and other stuff. So yeah, but anyway, let's check the actual fig out. Now, one thing I only just noticed in when I was standing her up, I actually got two left feet. And I only just noticed that now. Usually, I would do the whole thing of, oh, I'm going to return and get another one. But obviously, with everything that's going on right now, I feel like it's not really a big deal to do that. And um, also, it's not really a character I care about. Like, for me, if it was done to Iron Man or the Captain America, I would make it a really big deal. But since it's Miss Marvel, it's not overall a big deal. And I didn't notice it until now. Like, it doesn't look very noticeable. I mean, maybe a little bit, but... Not really. I feel like I'm not going to probably use her much anyway. Like, I'll probably just put it on the shelf and that's it kind of thing. I mean, I don't really use them at all. I just put them on the shelf. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> I, I probably won't bring her around and be like, oh, I'm going to compare her to this and this. I probably won't do that with this figure as much. But anyway, so anyway, we'll go take a closer look at this figure here. So she's pretty small as well. I will say that because obviously she's like a kid in the game, I guess. And also, I believe she is to be the main protagonist of the game as well which is interesting for an Avengers game which is you know it's different I mean I'm not against it but it's a bit it's a bit different I will say but I will say one thing for me I think her face looks really good in action figure form like in the game she looks really weird I don't know maybe they haven't finished it yet like Black Widow they've been slowly fixing up but Captain uh, but Captain but Miss Marvel though always looks kind of weird to me but here she looks really good I will say um, but she's got a wristband here, which is pretty cool. Uh, she's got the kind of scarf thing here going, which actually does have some detail on it, like a little bit of a, some artwork. I don't know what that's meant to be. The lightning going down the chest here, which is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of just like one bit here that turns, you know, turn right around. Doesn't really move up and down. It's kind of like limited, this one with, like, that's always the thing with smaller figs. They're kind of limited with the joints and, and all that, but pretty much, she can pretty much Kind of kick her own ass, but not really. But um, and then uh, apparently these boots are new for this figure, so that's something I didn't know. So apparently they're going to use these for more uh, female figures along the way. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, there's the two <laughs> left feet again. I think the worst case for le having two left feet for me was with the Destiny fig with one of them, and I remember getting it, and um, it had two left feet. But the problem with that, I wouldn't have really cared. But the thing is, it didn't have a peg hole. Like, it didn't have one of these, so I couldn't put it in the stand. So I was just like, well, that's kind of useless to me. So I needed one with the with the hole in it, and then I got that. I gave it to my brother in the end. But, um, like, trading, got another one and gave it to my brother. Because he's, he's the Destiny pleb. He loves Destiny, so yeah. But, um, really nice design, really nice hair. Um, I think underneath, yeah, it's just blue underneath there. <laughs> it's an upskirt. Yeah, you <laughs> 
Fucking hell. Um, anyway, but I think the accessory she does come with, though, which I do have around here, she does come with um, one kind of like grabbing hand and one punching hand, which is really what I wanted the Mr. Uh, Fantastic figure to have. But instead, they did not do that. For, forgive me for that computer sound. That's just my computer telling me that my computer is trash and it needs a bloody full-on reboot. Ugh, take that out. There. Oh yeah, so when you do take these out, it is like, I, I was actually wondering this myself, like do you take the arms out or something, but no, they've actually made it so you can, um, just really, it's not focusing, there we go, so it's actually coming out of the arms, it's kind of like, it's like, I don't think, can you take the hands out, yeah, I think you can, but it's kind of like taking the hands out kind of thing, what you do with like other figs, and that's how they've done it here, but with the arms, but that looks really cool, I probably will have my figure, Probably with these arms instead, because these look really, really cool. Um, once again, I will always recommend, though, don't always pull these out and put them in, because I feel like over time, obviously, they'll get looser and stuff like that, um, which is always just something that you have to always be mindful of. It's kind of like with the lightsabers as well, with the Black Series figs. I always feel like and if you pull them out a lot, they'll probably get loose at some point. But I do feel like, you know, having the punch arm was cool. I do kind of wish we got two punching arms instead of this weird grab arm. But then again, this is fine. It does it does what it's meant to. And yeah, I think it's pretty pretty well done there. Now, let's compare it to some other Black, uh, Black Series Rig, Marvel Legend figs. So here we have is Black Cat from the Kingpin Wave here, who's like my, com I guess, comic book fig. I don't really have many comic book female figs. Actually... No, that's a lie. I probably have more comic book female figs than MCU figs. Because the only MCU figs I've got is Black Widow and racist Tessa Thompson who hates white people. So, you know, uh, so I just figured I won't put her in here. I'll put Black Widow who I actually like Black Widow because she's fucking awesome. But uh, Black Cat, yeah, very cool. Very uh, neat design for her anyway. But as you can see, as you can see, they're slightly taller than her because obviously, as I said, she's pretty young. She's more of a kid. She's not really, uh, you know probably adultish, but I will say she's pretty close to old Scarlett Johansson, but Scarlett Johansson's a pretty small person anyway, from what I've seen. Well, I don't know, probably, probably not, I don't know, maybe I'm just comparing it to, like, Captain America or something, like, Captain America here, he's, like, really big kind of thing. Well, that's the movie, that's not the movie one, I think I got rid of my movie one, actually. But anyway, I'll compare it to some other Marvel Legends. Uh, but once again, here is the comparison to the Iron Man from the same video game and Captain America from the same video game as well. That looks great. I'm probably going to have my shelf like this, actually, because I think Iron Man on the left there looks good. Obviously, her being the smallest and youngest in the middle, and then Captain America on the left there or on the right, if we're looking from the camera point of view. But overall, I, I'm pretty happy with this fig. I think it's a pretty decent figure here. I mean, once again, I'm not a huge fan of this character overall. Um, I do like that we got the options to make him either just small hands or big hands, because I really didn't like what they did with Mr. Fantastic, how he had the, like, I guess, I don't know, the fingers were just going bigger kind of thing, and that was it, and I thought, that's pretty freaking lame, you know, that's a great way to show the power. So, here, it's definitely much better represented, rep, ugh, represented, is that even a word? Represented, <laughs> represented, and, um, yeah, I think it's overall a really good character. Wow, she has really good splits. And I think, I think that's probably makes sense, though, because obviously she can stretch and everything, so... I think it's really well done. The only disappointing to me is that I found out it has two left feet, but I feel like, I feel, that's always the thing. I always feel like, especially with the box, because as I said, with the box design, I feel like because the, the Abomination fig here, it feels like you're technically speaking just buying the Abomination chest bit instead of the character, because the I mean, character's just there, but I might be just kind of like <laughs> overthinking it and thinking, oh yeah. It's like, um, what was that other fig, Sugar, Sugar Man or whatever his name was, with the four arms or whatever, eight arms or whatever he had. Um, yeah, that, that's a terrifying thing. It looks like you're just buying the head and then the, I think the person's just standing there like that. But, um, a really nice addition to the collection who I do, I like, I don't have this character at all. So I think it's cool that I finally got her. Um, I definitely want some more Gamerverse Marvel Legend figs. Um, I hope they do some more like with, um, obviously from the Avengers game, which would be awesome. And just, I guess, other Marvel games that they're going to be working on. But anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.